session. I'm aware I am off camera, but it's okay. He doesn't want to be seen anyway. I mean, I who would want to look at him? I was front and center at the very beginning of all of this. So. But How many viewers do we have? Uh, currently one. Hello, viewer. Our entire audience. Hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so, we are going to... <clears throat> Quiet all that down. So, we are playing Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Um, we have now been joined by our friend Brad. Uh, yes, and he is taking my spot on the camera because we couldn't figure out extension cords. Extension cords are hard, though. They are hard. Like, you have to plug one end into something, and the other end has to have something plugged into it, like... It's like a really long tube. It is. It's it is. It's a tube electricity. for electricity, and they're, they're complicated. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, this is just a one shot that we um, that they've put together. Uh, we're going to. Pro I'm going to primarily taking notes out of a Castles and Crusades uh, pre-generated adventure. Put that right over there, so you can all see that. Hey, how you doing? Um, Castle of Crusades is a system that was designed by uh, this group called the Troll Lords. Uh, it's great if you want to go back to a uh, modernized version of Second Edition. Alex, do you want to drink? It's nice, gritty, low magic, and uh, it very much rewards the prepared and punishes the idiots. Uh, oh shit. I have taken their, I have taken their <laughs> adventure and I have adapted it to fifth edition. Um, so if you're interested in it, check them out. This is not an official uh, advertisement, but a support of uh, local arts. Someone toss me a church key. So our so they can't show I'm drinking a copyrighted thing. Our adventurers uh, received, not directly to them, but saw on a poster board a missive from a Lord Galveston in the uh, town of uh, Capindu. Uh, and given that they were only what appeared to be a week's journey away, they've decided to go offer their assistance as uh, mercenaries. Uh, more details and exact reward were to be discussed upon arrival. Our, uh, our adventurers have been on the road for about two days now when they've uh, come across uh, a gypsy camp where they can hear people eating, drinking, and having a great time. And uh, it is up to them as to what they want to do. Do you want to approach the gypsies or do you want to keep going i vote we approach the gypsies it has been too long since i have committed a venial and immortal sin upon the same person and i fear that my elephant needs to take the shits is that not right bitch cat <laughs> bitch cat agrees damn it no <laughs> I'm I vote we ignore her. Let us stop and talk to the gypsies. I'm vetoing anything you do. I think we should talk to the gypsies. It would be a good chance to discuss with them, uh, perchance their religious proclivities, but we should watch our money. I'm going to climb the nearest tree and just watch them. Can I roll for charisma to see if they want me to watch their money? No. The group? You can ask the group if you want them to watch your money. No. no. That's the no. worst I can no. do. No. You see the trust I put up with. My money. Well, real quick, just because we skipped this, let's go ahead and do a quick character <laughs> introduction. <laughs> because we're already past the point of confusion for viewers. <laughs> I know all of your names. Viewer. Poor viewer. Is this still your mom? Alex. <gasps> what if it's still your mom? Nice. All right, Alex, look at the camera. Uh, just say class, name, and maybe a sentence about yourself. Uh... 
about myself, you mean about the character? Or yes. No, okay. cares about no we want to know it's about you. Of course. <laughs> you're Sagittarius. <laughs> you enjoy right, long uh, walks on the beach. Right. Uh, Tell us your no, goals. No, Sagittarius. Right, uh, long the paladin, paladin. His name is Joe. Because I am that creative. Joe the and, Paladin! Uh, uh, now that's the he, Rob Liefeld drawing. And he... And... And he has made it a... He will kill most bandits on site. Because they fucked up his childhood. Fuck! Uh-oh. Don't, don't look to your right. Don't ever look... Up, 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 up. Too late. Too late. <clears throat> well, okay, she's not a bandit. She's a thief. <laughs> so she... If, did you ever steal from somebody on a road? <laughs> when I say, when I say bandit... What? Shit! <laughs> Alright. Well, more referring to those who will just go into a village and fuck everything up and kill everyone in sight. Raiders! Raiders, yes. Let's go with raiders. I don't Tuscan fuck up raiders. everything in sight. I'm he fucks everything in sight. <laughs> We're gonna jump Kaylee and go straight to chat. He already, I, he already warrants an explanation. I am Blalop, his set the feckless. I am a half-elf bard. It is my life's goal to eat every sort of food, and I am fast approaching that, and to have sex with 117 people on every continent, including one different person in every camp. Oh, no. I and my elephant bitch cat. <laughs> that's that's have... amazingly pedestrian. <laughs> in a world with multiple species, it should be 117 different species. No, yeah. no, no. I'm, I'm absolutely the most racist person. Oh, I okay, only okay. want oh, to have sex no. with a humanoid. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, I'm no. willing to accept animals. <laughs> oh, right. no. Giants or humanoids? Humanoids. Giants or humanoids? Giants are humanoids. Yeah. Not yeah. giant. Well, I mean... I'm I mean, you don't walk right on in. Yeah. I would have sex with the giant. I would need to be inserted into the giant. But no, that's, oh. that's I would have sex with the that's giant. That's how giants roll. You'd be surprised. You are a giant diabetes riddled thumb. Why do I stay with these people? He's like I'm a giant five foot model. seven and so 370 pounds. And my poor elephant bitch cat gets so much of a workout walking <laughs> uphill pulling <laughs> me in my carriage. It's a that very it skinny needs elephant. To stop every time. <laughs> it's a very skinny elephant. All right, uh, Kaylee, let's go back to you. <laughs> I am Kaylee, and I am playing the Moon Elf Hex. I am a rogue. I was abandoned by my parents at an orphanage when I was an infant, and I have spent my entire life hunting them down. I still don't know where they are. I'm a very bad tracker. Uh. <laughs> Very Real quick, just because of the shot. Um, Do you want me to move again? Yeah, almost like to the other side of the mic. Because now Alex. Well, I was hidden behind the Alex. Other other side. You're, yeah, the other other side. Because you're completely eclipsed by Alex. Okay, Come see, join me. Yes. Let our proclivities okay, become Okay, here. If I go one. stand over here. You can ride my yeah. elephant. We good? Yeah, you'll be good. Okay. Do you want to okay, ride my really elephant? As long as your elephant isn't an epithet for your dick. Mic over, you're good. <laughs> and like we can see Alex. So, Sweetie, oh, with my BMI, I've like got the inning, not an Audi. Yeah. <laughs> right. God damn it! I'm okay. Honestly, with her being that close, being behind the mic is probably best. Alright. Still not getting sued by Disney. Okay. So, Brad. Brad. I am also a paladin. Uh, my name is Emrys K. Maddox. I come from the far off Abbey of Clarion and am the proud bearer of Aetherius the Purifier. I am on a quest that I do not talk about. I haven't come up with it because this is just a one shot. I'm not wasting more creative juices on that. Um, oh, waste your juices somewhere else, Brad. Oh, wait, hold on. Emrys. Emrys. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, Going for that hidden Merlin name. Oh no! I yes. I One of the names of Merlin was Emrys. I did not know that. Oh, I was unaware of that. I liked how it sounded, and I'm like, that's a good name. It is a good name. Yeah, so I just picked it. It was totally unrelated to Merlin. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's why I don't talk about it. I'm like Merlin's a pus. No, don't worry, God knows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's it. There we All go. Right. Um, All right. So now that everyone's on the opposite side of uh, Gordon because he smells. I forgot something important. Sure, what's up? I have a weasel named Magnus. Uh, His name is not Schmelvin. <laughs> make sure you keep Magnus away from Bitch Cat. He dislikes small creatures. He could step on it. 
It would be a shame. Don't crush my right. <laughs> So, now to get back onto the railroad tracks. Uh, off the railroad. Far off the railroad. How high? Haley, you you've decided to, uh, or Hex, you've decided to climb up into a tree to watch from afar. Yeah. While your three companions uh, go into the... Uh, the camp of the gypsies. I have learned long ago to step away and observe because of this one. Okay, so, <coughs> Kaylee, uh, what is your acrobatics flat score? Six. Six? Okay, so it's not too hard for you to find a tree to climb up. Um, the three of you, you approach the, uh, the camp, and as you do, this, um, uh, very boisterous dwarf walks and goes, Ah! Ah! Welcome! Ha! Welcome to the traveling circus! Yes, you come in! Come on! And immediately he turns around and he starts like fanning you in to come in. So it's the guy from Hearthstone? Is it too late to leave Bitch Cat the Elephant tied to the tree where Kaylee is hidden? Uh, Wait, to draw attention to my tree! Come you on! You have to uh, turn around and park it if you want to go do that. But I mean, like, he saw you on the elephant and didn't Well, no, 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 I'm not in the elephant. You're I'm in the in carriage, the carriage attached being to the elephant. drawn by the yeah, elephant. Yeah, I said he saw the elephant and didn't care. Okay. Like, he signaled you on with elephant. They want to kidnap Bitch Cat. No, they won't kidnap Bitch Cat. <laughs> you want bed? You ever tried to kidnap an elephant without, um, <laughs> like... Didn't they make a whole movie about that? It was called Dumbo. Jumbo. And look at how it, it ended. <laughs> Wasn't, wasn't there something movie like Elephant Drop or something? It's like they, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it was Disney with Dennis Leary. I remember that, right? Yeah, it was yeah. Like Dumbo Leary Drop was or something. Yeah, op- yeah, Operation, Operation Dumbo, Dumbo Drop. Drop. It was when his kids were young, so he was doing movies that his kids would approve of. Ah, okay. Yeah. Before yeah. the No Cure for Cancer. No, oh, after. Really? Because No Cure for Cancer was in '89, and that was like when his first son was being born. So this was like mid '90s, late '90s, when his children were just coming of age and they were old enough to watch Disney movies. So I would like to proposition someone from my carriage. Now I'm worried. All right. Uh, as uh, right now, because you guys are kind of on the road, and the only one who ran up to greet you was the dwarf, who Can has I proposition the dwarf. He has already started moving back, so you're going to have to call out to him. That's all I'm saying. What's his name? I call out to the dwarf. What do you call out? You there, with the studly legs, come hither. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> he stops and looks back. Goes, Me? You come hither. Oh, here we go. Oh Christ! So you see him. He kind of does like a little jaunt on up to you and just kind of. Uh, yeah, what, what can I do you for? You're welcome. You're, you're, yeah, it's more than welcome to come on in. We've, we've got the pen. Actually large enough for the elephant. It'll be okay, come on! Are there other elephants for my elephant to play with? Bitch uh, cat gets lonely on the road. We have we have one. Uh, she is very old. My elephant is uninterested in your elephant. Tell me about your specialty entertainments. How many can I fit in my carriage? How big is your carriage and why How do big you is want my to carriage? Here I don't know. we go. Uh, if it's stair carriage, it really fits up four people. You but I'm two people. I know, so you probably could fit half a person in there with you. <laughs> One and a half, baby. Um, you, you, could, you could sit two halflings in there, not a problem. Are there any wealthy people in the circus? No. Oh! The circus. We all have an abundance of wealth in the currency of life, and you are more than welcome to partake with us if you come on in. All right, I leave my elephant outside of the bounds of their circus. Do not tie him to my tree. Okay. Tie him to a tree. Okay. Okay. He goes, he's like, we have a pen. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. They hate them on the gypsies. Yeah, this he kind of like gets a little upset and he starts to saunter towards. Or he starts back to his camp. I'm going to need help being pulled out of my carriage. Good luck with that. Can I jump through the tree line and follow where he's going? Uh, where I'm going or where they're going? He's going. I mean, it's, it's not a very thick forest. Okay. But, uh, yeah, if you roll me, you'd have to roll me probably three acrobatics. Okay. Or athletics, whichever is. Acrobatics. That's a nine on the first one. So, Grant, give me totals. Okay. Nine. So, it was a nine total or? It was a nine total. 
Okay. Uh, on your first jump. Fuck. You, uh, you misgage. <laughs> and you get so close, reaching out like, oh, I'm going to have to 